What is going on, painting company owners? Happy Saturday. Brandon from Painter Marketing Pros here. Have my... It's my Saturday co-host. There it is. Yep, we're always hanging out. Uh, like to bring them on the, on the live videos on Saturday. So had our third recording of the Painter Marketing Mastermind podcast yesterday. We had Garrett Martell of Two Day Painting join us. Garrett's super interesting guy, super smart guy, was an awesome episode, very, very excited to release that. The Pan Marketing Mastermind uh, podcast is, is going to be released publicly uh, at some point soon, so stay tuned for that. But a, a couple things about Garrett and yesterday. So Garrett, he started his company, Two Day Painting, which is in Wisconsin. He started it in 2014 as a broke grad student. Oh, so he started it, lost the, the binky. Uh, so he started as a broke grad student doing door-to-door -door, uh, sales, basically. And he's grown it in seven years to now doing over $5 million in revenue. So pretty enviable revenue, pretty great growth uh, from Garrett. So he had a lot of really good things to say. Number one was a theme that we've seen kind of throughout all the, the guests so far, which is being willing to... Uh, experiment and explore different marketing uh, methods, right? All three of the, the guests that we've had on the Painter Marketing Mastermind podcast so far are very successful. All three are well over a million and all three are very big into trying out different sales and marketing techniques and, and seeing what sticks because there is absolutely a component of experimentation. Garrett in particular is, is very advanced with direct mail. So he, he has a lot of experience with direct mail. He actually runs his own direct mail company Trades Fix, T R A D E S F I X dot com. Uh, you can go there and check him out because he he has the direct mail game very much dialed in. But I did ask him for you know painting company owners that are a little bit you know painting companies that are smaller uh, that maybe don't have the budget he has right now. What what does he recommend? And he he said when you're smaller, when you're maybe under under a million, under, under half a million, really focus on your digital marketing first. Uh, because you're going to get the most reach, you know, the most bang for your buck there. And then once you once you creep past that million mark, that's when direct mail starts to make a lot more sense. I think that it probably would make sense with Garrett before then. You know, if you wanted to have a conversation with him, again, you can go to tracefix.com. But uh, there's an interesting point about how you, as you grow and as you have more cash flow, you know, your ability to market in different ways and experiment in different ways kind of opens up. Another thing Garrett focused on and, and kind of attribute, attributed much of his success to was systems and processes. This is another theme that we've seen uh, throughout the podcast, but having the right people in the right seats, you know, making sure that he's working on, not in his business, you know, as much as possible, be working on, not in the business. Uh, and, and we kind of dug into that. And again, sales and marketing was, was a key component um, of, of sort of the positions that he was looking to fill and, and the systems he was looking to create. To make sure it was efficient as possible and he had to pivot a few times it, it didn't all go according to plan it never does but uh it, it was a great it was a great podcast episode very excited to release it nah uh, yeah happy saturday lavin what are your thoughts there it is